Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy and Yaziel, my little sister. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my little sister's makeup for theater. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice. We aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing my little sister's makeup for theater. My little sister is a very prolific actress and singer here in our town. <laughs> and she is part of the cast for a musical that is going to be performed in our town in the next coming month or so. And so I thought it was quite appropriate to do today's video with my little sister because I'm going to be showing her how to do her own makeup for theater. So I understand that while she is very young and she doesn't need a whole lot of makeup, this is for theater and for show and for song and dance. So it's got to be out there. Their makeup has got to be able to stand out to the thousands who are going to be watching Watching her under the lights under a long day of performing and rehearsals and this and that and the other so I'm gonna be doing her makeup today and in the process showing her how to do her own makeup for theater it's somewhat similar for the makeup that I did for myself when I was doing ballroom dance competitions just without the bright eye looks and the bright lips she has several roles in the play so she needs to have somewhat of a neutral makeup base so that's what we're going to be doing today if you guys want to see that then just keep on watching but before you do at least be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below if you have ever been in a theater show, if you've been in a play where you were required to do your own makeup. Yeah, let's get straight into this video. So Yuzila has already washed her face and moisturized, so we're going to start off with a Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer. Now because this is theater makeup, I'm going to go in with a contour and highlight before going in with foundation. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer for contour and the Maybelline Age Rewind for highlight. looking a little bit crazy, but now we're going to go in with some highlight. For foundation, we're going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Caramel. Then we're going to go in with a beauty sponge all over the top of that to buff it in a bit more and make it look a lot more smooth and remove the streakiness that the brush sort of gave. Now we're going to set and bake the face using some loose translucent powder. While Yazil's face is baking, we're going to do her eyebrows. We're 
We're gonna go with a bit of bronzer. This one's just the Morphe bronzer in the shade Vlogger. I'm now going to kick off all that bank. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of a natural blush. This one is the NYX blush in the shade Dusty Rose. Because Ezeal is playing several different roles in this particular play, she doesn't need a very out there eyeshadow look. So we're just going to go in with a bit of neutral brown on the eyelid and leave it at that. I'm just going to deepen up her eye look just very slightly on the outer corners using a deep matte brown like this one. This is the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm just going to pop a bit of shimmer on the lid. I'm going to go in with a bit of the Essence All Eyes On Me Mascara. For just a bit of luminosity but not a very bright blinding highlight, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and just dust this very lightly all over the high points of her face. I'm going to go in with a bit of a nude lip liner. It's not really nude, but it's more close to her skin tone. Because it is a lip liner, it'll last longer than any satin lipsticks. And we're going to set all of that in so it'll melt in all together. Alright, let's take a close up at the finished look. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the montage? Uh, guys, I do apologize if the lighting was a little bit in and out with this video. I'm still trying to figure all of my camera settings and the softbox and the backdrop and how it all works together but this is the finished look but it is a little bit more heavy because it needs to last longer and stand out from where she is going to be performing on the stage for her show so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already i do put new videos out every monday wednesday and friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Guy. And subscribe! <laughs> yes, subscribe. Thanks guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. We truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with us today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Do you have content? Yes, mm. I do. Uh, <laughs> and moisturize so we're now going to start off with prime oh. so i'm just going to use the uh, no, no. So for foundation we're going to be using oh, is it not focusing <laughs> i'm gonna go in with uh, the mess <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> why is my lighting so weird Go like this. And then like, in the look at the lens. And smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go like this. <laughs> All right, LD. Look at this. Just look at this. <laughs> and 
please subscribe. <laughs> You're like, subscribe. <laughs> So Yuzil doesn't wear makeup very often. <laughs> We've literally just finished filming it. She wants to take it off straight away. It's pretty, but it's too heavy for Kua. It's probably dead. Hang on, hang on, wait, wait, wait. 